Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be running the trains in the LEGO city. Before I get started with that though, we've gotta finish building the raised train line. The other day I modified all of these panels here and now it's time to install the panels back into the LEGO city so they cover up that raised platform. This tunnel one is pretty sweet. Obviously the train runs through that tunnel and we're gonna see that from a first person point of view later on in this video. But yeah, all of these panels are pretty sweet because I can actually install them from one side and because they're on a mills plate and they're pretty solid, I can just install one, slide it down. Install another one, slide it down. And eventually I can just push them all into place. I just gotta be very careful not to damage the Simpsons tree. I think the Simpsons tree, that's Bart Simpsons treehouse, is actually gonna have to move over one or two studs so the train doesn't hit it. And just to give it a little bit more clearance, it is a big tree, one of the biggest in the LEGO city. The next thing that I have to do is uh, customize some track. These two segments here, the ones that are an odd shape, are the ones that connect the raised train line to those back wall panels that we just installed. They're sort of a funky shape because they use straight track, curved track, and then also some spacers with flex track just to make sure that it all aligns perfectly. I went to Lego City, I made these, just made sure they were perfect, and then brought them over to my desk here, and now I'm adding all of the underlying plate, two by plate, four by plate, one by plate, and also some wedge plates, and then I'm covering that all with light gray tile so that it matches up in the city. Now one thing I will say is that I'm running out of the light gray tile, so you will see some dark gray studs on some of these builds here. It's unfortunate, Eventually that'll get covered up. I just don't want to place any orders until I know exactly what I have to order. Now that those are all made, it's time to install them in the LEGO City. Going to start right over here by the loop coaster. Install that funky curve and then attach a straight to that. That goes right over that road plate there. There was lots of uh, trial and error with this just to make sure that it was perfect. In fact, I installed it and then I realized that I had to make one quick modification just because there wasn't two arches where it initially hits the road there. So I actually had to connect the weird S-curve track to the other piece of track to make sure that it's fully supported. But once I got that all dealt with, I was able to install the rest just behind that hillside house there. So we're gonna continue installing all of this train track. What's really neat about it is it's actually connecting all of those panels together. The segments that we created rest on their own arches, so they're actually become part of the wall and they connect the walls together. This one here had to be modified. It's got a 20 stud opening that goes on top of the tunnel there. There's no underlying plate on that track there just because the tunnel is actually one plate higher than the supports because it has like the roof on top. And once again, I'm running out of those light gray tiles so I'm unable to tile this off. In fact, I used all of my two by four tiles today, but I'm able to stick some one by eights on the side. I could use two by twos and cover it, but I may as well just wait until I order more two by fours just because I'd have to redo all the work. And also the two by fours give it more support and using two by twos really just sort of defeats the purpose. But now it's time to install the funky curve that goes just behind the Venetian houses here. You will see a gap behind the Venetian houses there. I have to make that work later on because I actually have to render the whole canal in order for it to accommodate the raised train line correctly. So the raised train line is almost done. We're almost ready to operate here, but there's still a bunch of cleanup work that I have to do here in the city. Included in that is building another support for the curve right here. It's essentially gonna match this support here. Also, I have to tile off the arches that support the train track. You can see there's some exposed studs there and I have to tile off the tops of the platform coverings and make sure they're all aligned as well. Of course, I've got to fix all the traffic lights that I've knocked over as well. I also have to connect the ground line that goes to the tunnel here because I don't want the trains to derail. I'm also gonna be changing up this ballast track right here so that it matches the dark gray tiles of the road. I've got another support that I need to fix over there as well. Maybe I'll make some mills plates for that section there if I have the parts to do so. And then I need to tidy up the amusement park here because the Eiffel Tower is missing and the roller coaster is in the wrong spot, obviously, and the train track needs to be reinstalled. First things first, let's straighten out that amusement park with that roller coaster train track and the Eiffel Tower. So it took me a little bit. I'm going back and forth from the parts in the city doing a lot of crawling underneath the tables. You'll see me just pop up through the access holes there and then I'll vanish and then I'll pop up again and then I'll vanish and I'll pop up again. Uh, so yeah, just gotta get everything tiled off there, make it look good, fix everything along the way as well, such as moving the vehicles, putting them where they're supposed to be, fixing traffic lights, 
uh, putting modular buildings back where they're supposed to be as well. And then the last thing I have to do is actually fire up the raised train line and test it out because guess what? All three trains operating all at once coming right up here along with POV trains. I'm excited everybody. It feels like having all of these trains operating in the Lego city has taken quite a bit of time to get right. I mean, we've had trains operating like this before, but we haven't really had a polished system like this where all the tracks are ballast, the raised line has custom supports and is nicely tiled off. However, with that said, there is still lots of work that needs to happen with the train track system here in the Lego city. Specifically, the tiles, I have to order those so we can get them all tiled off. Like that's the raised line track, has to be all tiled off. I need to order more 1x3s, 1x4s, 2x4s, etc. just to make that look pretty good. Also, I think I've got to go around and push down all the track and maybe provide the raised train track a little bit more support on the back there along the retaining wall because there's still a little bit of wobble as the train passes through. It's not too bad. Here we've got our first point of view from the train. This is from the raised line, obviously, zipping through the downtown core there, making its way toward the back retaining wall, busting around the corner and toward the amusement park. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about having trains operating like this. There is a little bit of curbs and stuff like that to get it aligned perfectly and also to get it going through the city how I want it to, but I think overall I'm pretty happy with the end result of all three lines. And just seeing all three going at the same time just makes me really happy. There's a couple other things that we need to do with trains. Train stations. I need some raised train stations. There's probably going to be one in the amusement park or maybe just outside of the amusement park. Uh, the train station that's in the downtown core there, uh, my custom one from back in the day, needs to be rebuilt so that it can accommodate the raised line as well. And then there's probably going to be one more maybe by the zoo or on the raised platform back there. That just sort of makes sense, right? I know like the layout of the trains doesn't really make sense. Like the raised line pretty much follows the ground line, but this is a Lego city. I don't really have unlimited space to make it different. It is what it is. I more so install trains in a Lego city to have fun with Lego trains. It doesn't really necessarily have to be exactly how it would be in the real world. So it is what it is. I'm really happy that all of them are running and if they're going the same route, it's not really too bad. I really like when it passes underneath the race platform though. And maybe we can do some more stuff under the race platform, add details and stuff like that. Specifically, there actually could be a train station that's built into the raised platform, sort of goes underneath it to service that line. That would sort of make sense. But the platform coverings, they're sort of modular. If a train does derail back there, it would sort of be a nuisance to go back there and put it back on the track, but it'd probably be like a five, 10 minute process just to unlatch two segments of track essentially pull out that platform covering or take off some tiles and then pull out that platform covering and then you'd be able to put the train back onto the train track. I also want to make some parking spots for trains underneath that race platform. Just easily put in some switch track, probably have like a switch right before it goes underneath the platform so I can switch it there and then there'd be another switch that would merge so it's easy to have the train park underneath the platform. So we saw the uh, ground line, we saw the raised line. Now it's time to check out the Disney train line uh, from point of view perspective here. Now the amusement park isn't done. When we get this done here, it's gonna look a lot better. Now I used to have a complete amusement park. In fact, I think there's three or four varieties. Envision the trains going around something like that. It would look a lot better. So yeah, hopefully we can get that done in the near future. So there we go, everybody. It has been an absolute journey putting the trains into the Lego city in this sort of polished way that looks really good. Everything is running smoothly. I'm ecstatic. During the filming of this video, there was not one single derail or crash. So I was excited about that. Yeah, so those of you who made it to the end of the video, here you go. Here's Silly Brixie. Everybody farewell. Peace out.